I have a problem. I'm a Genshin player, and that title is not taken very lightly by people on the internet. We often get comments saying Genshin players are cringe, Genshin players never shower, and Genshin players don't go outside. And while I can't confirm or deny any of these allegations about the Genshin Impact community, I wanted to find out if any of these stereotypes were actually true. So when I heard that MiHoYo announced an offline Genshin pop-up event in New York City featuring their newest collaboration with Xbox, I decided to attend, so that I can challenge myself to see if I can solve socialize with like-minded Genshin Impact players of a cultured variety. But there's just one tiny problem. I have zero social skills in real life. For this very problem, I created the Master Plan. Step 1. Explore the area so that we can get comfortable at the event venue. So here's the rundown. We just entered the event. Alright guys, so we're at the event. I don't know if you'd call this a cosplay. I guess this is something like a cosplay. It, 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 it's just riding drip. And there is this crowd of people gathering around a photo shoot most likely for Genshin Impact's official Twitter page. So me and my cameraman Justin decide to see what the commotion was all about. They have the little box over there. I hope it's not just a display box. What's over here? Oh my god, they have Clarin? They have Risley? That's insane. Look at his gauntlets. Now these were actually some official Hoyaverse cosplayers. I mean, look, there's even a real photographer. Anyways, we were walking and exploring the event venue, which actually wasn't that big in all honesty, at least compared to last year's summer festival. But right now would have been the perfect time to interact with Genshin Impact players at the event. Specifically though, I was looking out for cosplayers because I would be recording the questions I would be asking. Kinda like a little interview, but I don't even know why I'm telling you because even though we got noticed by Columbina, third of the Fatui Harbingers by the way, and at the photo shoot we ran into Arlequino, fourth of the Fatui Harbingers, and even Adeptus Zhao having a lunch break, I decided to not interact with anybody yet because I was still socially anxious. But that's okay, just trust the process, we still have the master plan. Step 2 take part in the event. Remember, this entire event was centered around MiHoYo's newest Genshin Impact collaboration with Xbox. So we walked away from the photo shoot area just a little bit to check out what this collaboration was about. Dude, I'm like the only one that looks like this. I'm the only one in this attire. I'm the only public disturbance. Okay, we're going into this line. I have no idea what this is for. So we got in line, and I met some Hoyver staff. They explained that we get to play an early access build of Genshin Impact on Xbox. Which sounds amazing to me, considering my first ever game console when I was little was an Xbox 360. And for those of you that don't know, I still play Xbox to this day on my Xbox Series S console with my IRL friends when I'm not streaming or editing. We're gonna try Xbox Genshin early, before it's even released. It comes out in November 20th, I believe. We got in line to try the live demo, and there was this little checkpoint booth where we waited for a while. But while we were waiting, I got another opportunity to talk to cosplayers, because right in front of me stood the magical sibling duo, Linny and Lynette of the Children of the Hearth. I should have known this was coming. I mean, I literally saw father back at the photo shoot area. Even though they were right in front of me and we were both waiting in the same line, I still wasn't ready to talk to anyone. But that's completely fine. Trust the process. We still have the master plan. Try not to be awkward. There's a Lynette and Linny cosplay right behind me. Eventually, the line moved through and we made our way to the checkpoint. Hello, so how does this work? Okay, so basically the Hoyover staff explained that we get a whole bunch of free exclusive items for making a couple social media posts using the new Xbox collaboration hashtag. Now, if you don't know, I'm quite a collector myself. I like to say I don't have a large collection, I have a cultured collection. Alright, but all jokes aside, even though I've been a Hoya creator for over one year now, I don't really have a lot of Genshin Impact merch back at home. Mainly because I have other priorities. So of course, we completed the challenges and got the exclusive rewards from the event. Here's your postcard for doing it, and as well as the sticker. Right over there, thank you. They gave us this really nice Nahito postcard thing with the Xbox logo, and also some really cute Paimon and Sino emote stickers. In all honesty, this stuff was pretty cool, but I'm not sure why this entire event was centered around Sumer. Like, yeah, they have the Xbox logo thing with Nahida projecting it on the poster of this event, but it's 2024 and Natlin literally just released. If we want to go a little deeper and theorycraft a little bit, maybe they've been planning this Xbox collab for a while. Maybe they were planning this collab ever since Sumer released, but I guess nobody will ever know. So that's just a theory, a game theory.
What the fuck am I yapping about? Okay, back to the event. So we were waiting in line to get some early access gameplay of Genshin Impact on Xbox. But the line was taking a while. And like I said, now would have been the perfect time to ask questions to fellow Genshin enthusiasts. But for some reason, I chose not to. The social anxiety was hitting incredibly hard at the moment, especially with that Lydia and Lynette cosplay right in front of me the entire time. So you know what? Step three of the master plan. Practice some interview questions on cameraman Justin. If it's like Overwatch. <laughs> okay, so here's basically what happened. I asked, hey, what's your favorite Genshin character? Now, for those of you that don't know, I forced my friend Justin to play Genshin Impact one year ago so that I can make fun of him for a video. I'm trying to eat. You're trying to eat? What do you mean you're trying to eat? No, no, stop eating! Get out of the eating menu! Get out of the eating menu! And you know what? I would argue that it was worth it. Anyways, this guy basically only knows Mondstadt characters because he played the first Archon quest and then he quit the game. So when I bring up the question, hey, what's your favorite Genshin Impact character? His first response is Lisa. There's a lot of, uh, concerns with that choice. And when I confronted him about it, here's what he said. Hey, why, why do you know Lisa? <laughs> the only reason why I know Lisa is because her Japanese voice actor is the J-pop star Lisa that, sang, that sings a bunch of uh, famous Japanese uh, anime opening. Yeah, okay, Justin. Okay. <laughs> That's totally why you like Lisa? Not for any other sus reason. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm paying him. What is this man's <laughs> obsession? You have an obsession. But... Look at you! Look who's talking! Look who's talking! <laughs> Why is this line taking forever? I feel like we've been in this line forever. So you, you know what? Step four of the master plan: ask why the line is the, the time. Why the line is taking forever? Oh okay, yeah, so we're trying to time it because they're taking forever. Okay, so someone's walking in now. We'll, we'll see how long it takes. You got the timer? Cool. You got the stopwatch. One eternity later. It took 5 minutes, 3 seconds, and 79 milliseconds for the players inside the box to finish their gameplay demo. Now after learning this, you might have some questions. Does knowing this make time move faster? Why are you not talking to people? Are you mentally stable? Can you even record what happens inside the box since it's early access gameplay and not out for the public yet? And to that, I would humbly reply, Master Plan, Step 5. Ask a Hoyaverse employee if we can film inside the box. Now I did go up to Hoyaverse staff and actually ask if we can film inside the mystery box. And if you want to find out what happens inside the box, subscribe right now. <laughs> See what I did there? I want to record really bad. And now he's going to go ask and he's going to make sure. As much as I'm joking right now, this was actually a bit serious. Because typically, when Hoyaverse gives early access on unreleased content, they do not like when it gets public. This is what's known as a leak. And especially since for gameplay demo type of events, such as the one we are attending currently, it's rumored that you get to play on what's known as a dev account. An account so spectacular that it makes even the whale spenders on Genshin shiver in their timbers. Every character is C6R5 on a private server. Knowing this, I didn't have any high expectations to be able to record inside the box. But that's when moments later, the Hoyover staff return back to me and tell me this. Eagle. We can? Thank you. Let's go. We can record. We can record exclusive gameplay right there inside that booth. The master plan, step six. Figure out if Genshin Impact developer accounts are real. And moments later, it was finally our turn to enter the box. An official Hoyover staff member greets us and we walk inside the box to discover what might be the most diabolical gaming setup that I've ever seen. They got the HP school laptops hooked up to an HDMI secondary monitor display with all the wires just hanging out and a mini box fan for comfort. Oh, and I guess we also have the uh, Xbox controllers too. The staff were really nice. This guy gave me the rundown. So I guess that theory about the developer accounts were true. And we were nearly seconds away from playing on one. I mean, just look at that character screen. It's so beautiful. So I guess now the question is, if you had every character C6R5, what team would you build? Maybe even comment below what your choice would be. I'm actually super interested in what you guys have to say. But for me, it's been a dream of mine for about a year now to try out Raiden Shogun at maximum power. And at this event, I was given that exact capability. 
thousands upon thousands of dollars were dumped into this very account that I'm about to play on to make this dream even possible. So I think you know where this is going. Gripping the controller in my hand, I wasted an entire minute of our gameplay selecting my character. Because I couldn't figure out the controls, and this was coming from someone who's been playing on Xbox for over a decade by now. Playing Genshin Impact on a controller is a diabolical experience. Eventually, I figured it out, and I may have chosen the weirdest team setup known to man, because I was in a panic against time. When given every character C6R5, for some unknown reason, I chose Yai Miko, Kujo Sara, and Venti as my riding supports. But you know what? Who cares? I'm only here for one character character anyways. And this, oh this was the face of a very happy ride in me. And after I finished the gameplay demo, the Hoyaverse staff were ready to escort us out of the box. But before they did that, I quickly asked if I could see the character menu screen because I had a crazy opportunity here. I wanted to do an official Genshin Impact Hoyaverse staff account review and see how well they can build their characters at C6R5. And while the Hoyaverse staff did try to help me out and access the character menu, it wasn't working, most likely because we were playing on a private server. And Anyways, he gave us some more exclusive collectibles and sent us on our way. Now we'll talk about that in just a minute, but I just wanted to quickly mention the absolute side eyes and death stares we were getting the very second that we stepped outside of the box. Dude, like I'm trying to figure out what I did to have people staring at me like this. Oh, I forgot I'm wearing this. Oops. Anyways, so we went around the box to the exit toward the photo shoot area. And when we got there, I noticed that the Clarin cosplayer was still there. And by now, the crowd from before had died down quite a bit. I needed this opportunity. This was an official Hoyaverse cosplayer. Master plan, step seven. Ask the official Hoyaverse cosplayer for a picture. Hi, am I able to get a picture with you? Yeah. Cool. Well, that was pretty easy. But then again, the only people I've talked to thus far are people that are getting paid to talk to me. Well, it's finally that time. We have experienced the entire offline event. Which leads me to the master plan, step eight. Go talk and socialize with some like-minded Genshin players. <laughs> okay, so that was an absolute disaster. I turn to these two players like I'm about to talk to them, and then I just walk by. And my cameraman is absolutely dying at the sight. Alright, you know what? I've had enough of this cameraman. I'm gonna expose him real quick. Remember the gameplay demo that we played together? Well, look who's insta-locking Lisa. Absolutely disgusting feral behavior. Okay, maybe I just need more practice. Maybe I just need the master plan, step nine. Practice some introductions. All right, we got to build up some some confidence, all right? What's what's going to be my opening line? Hi, I'm a Hoyaverse creator. Do you, do you Here, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to walk up to you, all right? Just just keep the camera there. I'm going to I'm going to act like you're a person. Hi, can we do <laughs> Yeah, games on your phone. Hey, I'm a Hoyaverse creator. Uh, I was wondering if I can ask you some questions for a camera. I feel like that was pretty good. Okay, now I felt ready. The master plan, step 10. Go try and talk to people waiting in line for the event. The plan was for me to go up to the entire crowd of people waiting in line and ask a single person if I can interview them. And this is how that went. <laughs> There is no way a human being can be as cooked as I am. Like, dude, there's just no way in hell that actually happened. I stared and walked past every single person in that line. And when I turned my body like I was about to talk to someone, I turned around again and just kept walking. You know what? I'm officially crashing out. This whole master plan thing, it simply wasn't working. And I was on the fence about leaving the event. We're just, we're just loitering around, you know? They don't have a no loitering sign, right? We could just, you know, walk around the area. And right as I was about to leave the event, because I didn't see any more cosplayers, my cameraman tells me to turn around because there's a Hu Tao cosplayer right behind me. And then, out of pure adrenaline, I do this. I like your cosplay. I was wondering if I could ask you some questions on camera, if possible. What is it for? It's just like a, a YouTube or TikTok shorts. Oh, okay. I'd rather not be in a video. Okay, Sorry all good.
that one interaction was by far the most awkward thing I've ever done in my entire life. After that one reaction, I decided to pack my bags and just go home. I didn't care about the content anymore. I had to figure out why I was so cooked. So I hit up my professional cosplayer friend, Mania Cosplays, who basically does this interview type of thing all the time. So I asked him to review some of the footage, and this was some of his honest thoughts. Damn, bro. <laughs> bro, how did I fuck up that badly? <laughs> oh my god. You word vomited, man. You should have just said... Hey, I love your cosplay. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mania had a genuine talk for about an hour, and this guy did not hold back. You gotta put yourself in, in their shoes, man. Listen, you're 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 a smaller girl, right? And this man comes up to you. <laughs> man. But eventually, after some scolding, he did make me come to a realization. Go up to the person, greet them without the camera being on, right? Yes. And yes, then, correct. and then maybe compliment them a little, you know, get get them to kind of get in the zone, you know. Um, hey, <laughs> you know what's the better way to put this? Okay, what's the better way? Make friends. <laughs> Try to make friends. Grow your community. Make friends with the community, man. You know, the whole point of like these events is core community otherwise they wouldn't be rl try to make friends because you already both like the same thing you both already like genshin right you both already wearing the same cosplay right oh you gotta just find a similar interest okay and it's already easy for stuff like this because you're already at a genshin event how did it go for you amazing amazing <laughs> <laughs>